I think she got it. We might, oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! Hi. <clears throat> I, my nose is broken. So, um, the bone, like, right here is broken, and then, like, this is glued shut and the silver lining is maybe I will get a insurance covered Ariana Grande nose. We just have to look at the bright side. Just know it was a really stupid accident. <laughs> yep. Okay, moving on. So anyway, today we are going to be feeding my tarantulas some juicy, nasty, stinky crickets. We did gummy worms last time, but yeah, it's not good to feed them gummy worms like every time. And since they just had gummy worms a few weeks ago, I didn't want to do them again. Okay, so we're going to start off with a couple small ones, and then we will get into the bigger ones. This is one of my favorite tarantulas. It's my K. Bruna piece. She's very shy, but it looks like she's out today. Check her out. She is so so beautiful. I absolutely love her. Here we go. <sighs> I love how she just sucks it into her hole. Oh, she's coming back out for a dance. Isn't she just absolutely beautiful? I've really become obsessed with her. Like, oh, I just love her. Let's give her a little mist. Okay, so this is a species I forget the name of, but the spider shop gave it to me in an expo video, so you, you can see better now. Look at, oh, <laughs> there we go. There, uh, what is wrong with you? Oh my god, okay, maybe we're just not hungry today, that's okay. They're like, absolutely not. Oh, now you can really see those colors. Look how pretty it is. He just molted recently, but I do think he's ready to eat, so I will leave that in there with him. This is my Afonopilna Samani. I feel like you guys never get to see her because she's underground like 99% of the time, and she's probably going underground right up. Oh, there she goes. I'm going to feed her, though, because I haven't fed her in quite a while. Oh, oh. There she is, and back underground. <laughs> but I think that's the best shot we've gotten of her since I actually unboxed her, so heck yeah. Okay, so this one actually just molted. I did actually feed them two days ago just because I like to get some food in them as soon as they're ready after a molt, but I'm sure we could offer more. This is my age Aniculata. Look at those colors on her. She is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. She's pretty awesome. So let's give her some food. I always love to fatten them up after a molt. Just, you know, help them get any nutrients they lost back or whatever. I mean, it, it's a lot of work now that she seems distracted. Oh, I'd really like to... Ah, <laughs> I don't know if she's going to let me take it. Can I have it? Can I... Yeah. Good. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. She can keep it. I'll sneak it out of there eventually though. Don't worry. <laughs> this is my Aphonopelma utilanum. I think we'll eat on camera. I don't know. I think last time I tried to feed her, she would not eat on camera, but it might've been a gummy worm. So we'll try a cricket. Oh. Oh, okay. That means, nope, I'm not hungry. Thank you. So my guess now is going to be that we are in some sort of pre-molt. Totally normal. It happens. A phonopelma can go so long without eating. Like, I remember my friend got her first tarantula. It, you guys might know her, Lori, but um, she <laughs> had it for over a year and she never ate for a whole year. Can you imagine your first tarantula not eating for over a year? Of course, finally, she molted and ate, but crazy, I've, a whole year, can you imagine? Well, this one will eat for sure. Bolting around like crazy though. <laughs> this is one of my Saracopelma. Really, really pretty. And molted recently as well. A lot of these molted recently, so. Yeah. 
And I'm being really generous with the crickets today because I accidentally got too many crickets. It, the day that I broke my nose, I was like, damn, I need to go get feeders. And I'm just like out of it. And I just feel like not great. And I was like, can I get this many crickets? And, and I accidentally asked for like way too many crickets. So I'm just being really generous. I actually fed Bowser like probably 15 crickets yesterday. So we are not doing a Bowser break today for that reason. Hypnotoad, he also had a ton of crickets. Both the geckos had a ton of crickets. So yeah, we're being very generous generous with the crickets today because I don't like keeping them they smell and they're loud and look at that I don't think the spiders mind getting extra today <laughs> not at all this is my Afono Pelma Hensi Missouri tarantula. This is the species that we have here where I live out in the wild. I've observed them before. They are one of my favorite Aphonopelma. I have a lot of favorite Aphonopelma. I absolutely love Aphonopelma, obviously. I'm not sure if we'll get the best shot of her ever. She's actually like down here being really shy and cute. Ooh, she might be in pre-molt too, but it doesn't hurt to try offering. So that is what we will do. All right, let's just offer like a little one and see. Yeah, I don't know. She does look like she's in pre -mold. I'm going to give her a nice little miss just in case. So we have two more out here. And then I have a couple requests for other spiders. So I will grab them and yeah. Oh no, we hid. We're hiding a little bit. This is my S. Hoffmani. Finally, she has burrowed. Still, this is still one of my absolute favorite enclosures that I've put together. It is so fun. You can tell that the moss has kind of yellowed. That's pretty normal, but like, yeah. Oh, she also buried her water dish, as one could expect with most tarantulas. They sure love to do that. But finally, she made a really cool burrow down under here. Let's go ahead and offer her some food. I bet she will eat. She's very good about eating. Yeah. I'm sure she'll notice the other one eventually and eat that as well. Oh, we have a dancer over here. Look at you go. Ooh, water the plant. Now we have Pikachu, my big girl. Grandma Stola, Polka piece. A lady we've had for quite a long time here. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at her. Oh my god. Absolutely one of my most beautiful tarantulas. And I would really like to put her in a tarantula cribs similar to the one we have Helena, my grandma stole a polka in because it's bigger and also just this isn't that nice looking. It works. Obviously she doesn't care. She's happy in here. But I'd love to put something together for her that's more pretty and display like. You know this is an enclosure I did a really long time ago before I started really getting into me making them pretty and stuff. So yeah, anyway, there you go. Let's keep going. She's big, so. Oh, that one got away. Oh. I love the ASMR. Okay, so I just looked through all these suggestions and most of you asked for Salem, a jumping spider, a velvet spider, and centipedes. So we will do four more feedings. We will do a velvet spider, a jumping spider. I will go find Salem and then we will also feed a centipede. Now here is the thing though about the centipede. The problem is, is now my centipede has covered up the small little area that I could see in under the cork. Um, I think it might be molting, but I do have some really awesome footage. I took like a, a little bit ago that I never used and I never showed you guys and I keep meaning to show you. So I will just show you guys that at the end. It's pretty freaking cool though. It's the only footage I've gotten of the centipede eating so far and oh my gosh, it's really cool. But I'll show you guys that last. Let's pick a jumping spider really quick. I already fed all my little ones today, but I have not fed the big ones yet, so. All right, there we are, kind of a good view. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Probably not like the best jumping spider feeding clip you've ever seen, but I'm just glad that we ate. So who next? Um, we need to feed a velvet spider. I have a bigger one I can try feeding because I see she's out right now. This is Friday, by the way. But as soon as I pick this up, watch. Oh, 
Maybe we'll stay out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we pick it up, we get startled. That's okay though. I'm gonna try to feed anyway. Here's a good size cricket. Oh my gosh. Get it, get it, get it. I think she got it. We might, oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> She's got it by the leg. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm on her team. Oh, okay, okay, we got it. That was quite the takedown, my goodness. Okay, so Salem probably thinks everybody that asked he be fed because he does like to eat, so. Oh my gosh, Salem! He's really showing off for you guys who named him today. He's like, I'm gonna do the best I can to make this a good feed for you guys. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna give you the noisy crickets that I want to get rid of. Now, let me show you guys the centipede footage. Yeah, wasn't that pretty cool? So anyway, I hope you guys still enjoyed today's video even though my nose is very swollen and does not feel good. I think all the tarantulas were very happy to eat today. I see so many dances going on right now. Like there are so many Pikachus dancing, that Saracopelma, Salem is about to start busting moves. Yeah, everybody seems pretty happy here today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much as at tarantulae.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have merch, plushies sometimes, and closures that are out now. Very cute. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.